Raymetal B Systems Land, RBSL, unveiled Challenger 3 in first public display at Defense Vehicle Dynamics, DVD, 2024. The British Army's Defense Vehicle Dynamics, DVD, event in Millbrook showcases the most lethal tank ever operated by British Armed Forces, the new Challenger 3. Designed and produced by Rainmetal B Systems Land, RBSL, at their Telford Manufacturing Facility, the Challenger 3 represents a state-of-the-art example of military vehicle production and collaboration between Britain's allies and top vehicle system suppliers across the UK and Europe. Advanced Design and Technologies Visitors to the DVD event can see how the British-made Challenger 3 integrates cutting-edge technologies designed with the user in mind to meet today's battlefield challenges. It ensures both operational effectiveness and crew safety and comfort. RBSL engineers worked closely with Army personnel throughout development to fine-tune the vehicle's design, resulting in a seamless blend of advanced capabilities and real-world requirements. Next-generation armor and survivability. The Challenger 3 will feature a next-generation modular armor system, a key enhancement in survivability. Developed by experts at Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSDL, in collaboration with DNS and RBSL, this armor represents a significant upgrade for the main battle tank. Trials have been successful, with additional testing set for 2025. Production and Testing Progress a total of 148 Challenger 3 tanks will be delivered to the British Army, with two prototypes already completed at RBSL's Telford facility this year. An additional six prototypes are expected soon, with testing underway to refine and validate their performance. After successful testing, the remaining 140 tanks will be built and delivered. Supporting the UK economy the £800 million plus contract to produce the Challenger 3 has created nearly 300 skilled jobs at RBSL, including 130 engineers and 70 technicians, alongside 450 jobs across the UK. The project has also attracted £40 million in investment at RBSL's Telford facility, supported by a UK-wide supply chain involving companies from the West Midlands, Glasgow, Newcastle-upon-Tyne, and the Isle of Wight. Critical Design Review and Future Innovations The Challenger 3 has passed its Critical Design Review CDR, ahead of schedule, following an Initial Design Review IDR, in March 2022. This milestone allows RBSL to begin building prototypes under the £800 million contract awarded in 2021. The contract will deliver fully digitalized upgraded battle tanks to the British Army by 2027. Additionally, subcontracts awarded to UK supply chain companies contribute to the government's leveling up agenda. Modernization of RBSL's Telford production facility is nearly complete, with the factory also set to manufacture boxer vehicles. Future Capabilities Trophy MV Active Protection System Beyond the core contract, RBSL is progressing well in integrating the Trophy MV Active Protection System APS. The system, crucial for the tank's future survivability, has completed a successful demonstration in November 2022 and is currently advancing through the concept and assessment phases. The fully digitalist tanks will benefit from a new 120mm smoothbore gun, which uses the most advanced, globally available ammunition. A new suite of sights providing tank commanders with enhanced day and night targeting abilities. A new armor solution an active protection system, a turret that can be fitted to the tanks of allies and global partners. Significantly improved mobility through an upgraded engine and new hydroga suspension. RBSL Managing Director will Gibby commented, I am proud that RBSL's capabilities are being showcased at DVD, demonstrating our commitment to pulling the future into the present. The RBSL team has made great strides not only in producing the most advanced main battle tank in NATO, but also in developing the capabilities necessary to shape the future of military vehicle design and production alongside our international allies. The Challenger 3 tank, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, 
is hailed as the most advanced and powerful tank ever fielded by the British Army. Its recent live-fire trials in northern Germany coincided with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's announcement of a joint venture with Germany during his visit to Berlin. This collaboration will focus on developing the remote-controlled Howitzer 155mm wheeled artillery systems, RCH-155, designed for integration into boxer vehicles. As the largest economies in Europe, the UK and Germany maintain strong trade ties, with bilateral trade hitting an impressive 147.7 billion pounds sterling last year. The Challenger 3's development, led by Rainmetal BE Systems Land, RBSL, under an 800 million pound contract, not only enhances the UK's military capability, but also creates nearly 300 highly skilled jobs at RBSL, including roles for 130 engineers and 70 technicians, with a further 450 positions spread across the UK. During the trials, the Challenger 3 demonstrated exceptional accuracy by hitting targets at varying distances, using Raymetal's ranges, and aligning with NATO reference standards for new weapons and ammunition. The event reinforced the UK's commitment to maintaining strong defense capabilities and its significant contribution to NATO's collective security. Defense Secretary Grant Shafts who recently reviewed one of the eight Challenger 3 prototypes at the RBSL factory in Telford, praised the tank's advanced features. These include a new turret equipped with a smoothbore gun compatible with the most lethal NATO ammunition, advanced sensors, enhanced armor, and an active protection system. Minister James Cartledge added, Challenger 3 is an extraordinary, cutting-edge tank. It will play a crucial role in the Army's combat readiness and the UK's contributions to NATO, while also acting as a deterrent to potential threats. He emphasized the dual benefit of strengthening both the Army and the domestic defense industry. Expected to remain in service until at least 2040, the Challenger 3 will replace earlier models in the series and set a new benchmark for armored warfare. <laughs>